cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Today I'm going to make a clay pot tofu. Okay? Sapo tofu. Now I don't have clay pot with me, but I'm actually going to use a cast iron pot instead. Alright? Um, now what do we have here? The most important ingredient here is actually the fried tofu. If you can find the fried tofu from your local market, that will be the easiest and fastest. If not, you will have to buy the normal tofu and go and uh, deep fry them. Okay? Because if not, it's not going to uh, stay uh, shaped. Yeah? You need to stay in shapes. Now, I have about, there's about actually three tofu here. Okay? Deep fried tofu. And you need a bit of meat. I'm using roast meat. Yeah? Roast pork here. You need some chicken stock. Okay? And some hot water now all these are the different types of veggie that you can actually put in you don't have to follow me I'm actually just cleaning my fridge you can use whatever type of veggie you can find in your fridge and mix them together alright so just to let you uh, give you some hints I have some uh, small corn uh, young corns some broccoli cauliflower uh, some oyster mushroom cut into cubes take note why am I cutting the mushroom into this because all of my most of my ingredients are in this size this shape yeah so always in Chinese cooking you always try to keep all the ingredients in similar sizes uh, and shapes yeah example if you are if, if all your ingredients are cut into thin slices you cut all your, try to keep all your ingredients to thin slices as well. Now I have some uh, green peppercorn, yellow, red peppercorn, I have some celery, I have some cabbage. Okay, and of some green onion for the, uh, for the end. Alright, like I said, you can mix whatever veggie you like to your own likings. If someone were to say to you, no, you must use this, you must use that, ask him to cook. Okay. So you start cooking shortly. Okay, let's start cooking here. I have a cast iron pot here. And let's... I'm lazy today, so I'm just going to use some ready-made uh, onion or uh, garlic oil. Okay? Turn up to uh, medium heat. And we want to stir fry our ingredient here. You can actually put in stir fry these things. Uh, your veggie. My veggie could be a little bit uh, too much, <laughs> but I will. Uh, I'm not going to use all of them. The remaining one I can actually keep for my tomorrow. I can actually fry some bihun with it. Okay. Fuse my roast pork. You can use chicken, okay, if we don't need pork. Mm -hmm. Okay, I shouldn't use a standard steel spoon for cast iron. Yeah, where's my wooden spatula? Suddenly, I cannot see my wooden spatula. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stir fry this. I'll come back shortly. Okay, I found my wooden spatula. Okay, so now we are going to stir fry them. And throw in my capsicum as well. Okay, now I actually can smell all the very nice fragrance. Alright, I hope you can see clearly. This is where we can put in the chicken stock. Okay, always use a stock to cook your dishes so that you don't have to put in any MSG or chicken powder. Okay. 
restaurant uses a lot of chicken powder and MNG that's why they taste so good so in order to uh, replace it just use a very nice chicken stock search for my videos I have done videos on chicken stock pork stock okay go and uh, do your stock and keep it in your fridge then you can use them whenever you uh, you need it okay turn to high heat all right i'm going to let it to bring it to a boil first after that then we will continue all right okay it is now boiling we can actually add in our tofu right now just now there's one thing i forgot to add not sure if any of you noticed I actually forgotten to egg uh, Julian ginger, okay? So this is home cooking, you always forget this and that. It's okay. Okay, then I'm going to... going to put in the celery. I think now you can fit in the rest of my veggie here. Okay. Okay. I have some Chinese cabbage. I can also put it in. Okay, Chinese cabbage will actually release some water. Now one of the advantages of using cast iron is uh, it, besides retaining heat yeah, it can actually retain your moisture and your water. Meaning now, uh, as it cooks, you will actually um, retain most of the the water level will be about will remain the same. Okay, can do a bit of seasoning right now. The most important seasoning here is actually the oyster sauce. Easily two to three tablespoon, okay. The spoon I'm using right now is actually bigger than the normal table, so okay. So this is the main this will give it the main flavor. And we can give it a bit of slight soya sauce for the color. Give it a, some fish sauce for the extra depth of saltiness. You can add some rice wine if you want, it's optional. Okay. A bit of white pepper. Okay, you can see now it is actually it is actually uh, boiling. Okay, so we are going to uh, tone down the fire to medium low. Okay, or to medium low or medium. Okay, and close the lid. Let it simmer for minimum ten minutes okay 10 to 15 minutes then we will come back okay okay this is 10 minutes later let's see what we have got very hot be careful oh i wish you can smell this this is extremely fragrant is my tofu ready yes it has actually uh, expanded okay all right we can now do some final seasoning if you are not using cast iron you probably takes a bit longer 15 minutes maybe okay cast iron actually can cook a bit faster i'm telling you all these juices 
are very 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 sweet let me uh, do some final seasoning right now mm. extremely sweet very very sweet okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to starch it the, the safest way to starch your dish is always first off the fire okay then only you pour in the starch water after which you will give it some few gentle stir I was thinking to add some more salt and sugar but no I don't need it at all give it some gentle very very gentle stir you can see immediately your soup has started to thicken up okay let me bring out the tofu um, this will go very nice with the rice okay very very delicious and I'll give it a final pinch of um, sesame oil a little bit few drops Oop, okay alright some green onion on top there you go okay little bit of white pepper on top there you go here's my uh, clay pot tofu sabo tofu okay but I'm actually using I'm actually using uh, cast iron pot here right if you like my video do share on your Facebook to your friends come to cooking up our Facebook fan page your clip above your line follow button and subscribe to Appa's uh, YouTube channel and follow up on Instagram now this is uh, the, the beauty of uh, uh, cast iron pot is you can use it to cook and you can use it to serve I'm going to serve this like this yeah serve the dish like this isn't it beautiful all right thank you very much see you all again bye bye